the beautiful city of Vancouver, British Columbia. The crowd at BC Play Stadium didn't have to wait long for the happy news. Vancouver was the first of 21 sites in Canada, the United States and Mexico announced as a host city for the men's 2026 FIFA World Cup. Toronto also made the cut, Edmonton did not. The province says hosting games at BC Place will cost around $250 million and will bring in about a billion dollars of business. But we see this as an investment uh, for the future and it's going to pay off. Vancouver native and former national team star John Catliff says the games will provide a huge boost to soccer. Having this come to Vancouver and, and to Canada uh, is going to, I think, finally allow us to embrace soccer in a way as a nation that we really haven't in Canada because of hockey. Canada has been guaranteed 10 games in total. The announcement of how they'll be split will be made at a future date, but the hot rumor is Vancouver could get as many as six. When it comes to hosting games, there is one thing Vancouver has over Toronto, and it's this stadium, BC Place, capable of holding 55,000 fans. That's just good for business. More ticket sales, more beer sales, and more merchandise sales. BC Place will have to be outfitted with natural grass turf for the tournament, something that's mandatory for the Men's World Cup games. As well, there will be other amenities needed, like practice facilities and fan zones, all details that have yet to be worked out. BC Place is one of the largest stadiums uh, in, uh, in the um, host city um, uh, lineup. And of course, we've got rapid transit, we've got, um, you know, the downtown core, we've got all of the restaurants and bars who will be very excited to hear this news, I'm sure. As a host nation, the Canadian men's national team will have an automatic berth in the 2026 World Cup. Woo! Karen Larson, CBC News, Vancouver.